This is one of my favorite calculus problems. It's to find the volume of a bunt cake. Assume a slice's silhouette is a parabola. The facts are that the hole in the middle of the bunt cake measures two inches at the bottom. The bottom of the cake slice is four inches wide, and the height of the cake is five inches. So um, let's take these pieces of information and um, see what it means. So if I were to take a slice of the cake, so if I were to cut here and here, this piece that I took out would look something like this. And the slice of silhouette being a parabola just means that this curve right here is a parabola. The bottom of the cake slice is four inches wide, so that means this distance from here to here is four inches, and the height is five inches, so that's from here to here. This is five inches. Um, so let's take this shape and use what we know from calculus and from drawing to turn this into an integral problem. So this parabola right here is this area. This parabola right here that I rotate around the x, y, that rotate around the y axis. So here's an x, y axis. And here's that same parabola. And I'm going to write this as f of x. That's the equation of this parabola from x equals 1 to x equals 5. And why is this x equals 1? It's because of this fact here is the middle measures 2 inches, right? So when we do rotate this parabola around the y-axis, oops, it would look something like this. It's supposed to be a bunt cake. Um, when we rotate this parabola around the y-axis, this hole in the middle of the bunt cake measures two inches, so if it's two inches from here to here, then this distance must be one inch from there to there. So that's x equals one. So let's come up with the equation for this parabola, f of x. Since we know the zeros of this parabola, right, it crosses the x-axis at x equals one and x equals five, we know that f of x has got to equal something times x minus one times x minus five. Dial that back a little bit. But this function would not take on the height of 5 at, at um, x equals 3. So we need a coefficient here, a. Let's solve for that coefficient because we know that this function evaluated at 3 is equal to 5. Then when we put in x equals 3, we get a times 3 minus 1 times 3 minus 5 has got to equal 5. And this is minus 2. I'm sorry, this is plus 2. And this is minus 2. So 5 has got to equal minus 4 times a, or a equals minus 5 fourths. So let me just rewrite our function over here. f of x equals minus 5 fourths. And this should um, be a relief when we see this coefficient a being minus 5 fourths because it's a parabola opening down. And when we study parab parabolas, we know that if the x squared coefficient is negative, it opens down. So that's, that's kind of a nice thing to feel good about. x minus 1 times x minus 5. Get rid of this. So 
So the next part of finding a volume of a curve that we're rotating about an axis is to take a cross section. And the easiest thing to do is take a horizontal, I'm sorry, a vertical cross section of this shape and rotate that around, sorry, rotate that around the axis. So it would look like something like this. It would look almost like a can. So let's say, take that can and lay it out and see what the volume of that can is. Well, the can's dimensions are a function of x. The height of the can is f of x, this f of x over here. And the width is dx, because remember, we want to take infinitely small widths for this uh, cross-section. And the length of this cross-section is 2 pi times x. It's also a function of x, because depending on where we are, between 1 and 5, the length of this will be the diameter of the circle that's traced out here, which is 2 pi x. And we're just about finished. Um, the integral, or I'm sorry, the volume of the Bundt cake is going to be equal to the integral from 1 to 5. And it's best to think of an integral in this case as a sum from 1 to 5 of the volumes of all these cross sections right here. What's the volume of this cross section? Well, this is easy. This is just um, height times length times width. And you can read, read the height, length, and width right from here. Um, the height is f of x. The length is 2 pi x. And the width is dx. So putting these, the equations we know about f of x, which is right here, and 2 pi x, is just an expression for the, again, for the length of this cross-section. Um, we can solve this integral pretty well, uh, relatively easily. This is minus 5 fourths times x minus 1 times x minus 5. That's f of x. So we're done with that. 2 pi x times dx. A lot of calculus students, when they solve this, they'll want to drop this dx. But as, um, as a learning student, it's important to remember to keep that there. Um, if for no other reason you remember that your, um, your dx value is the, uh, is the width of a, of a typical cross-section. This is a very easy integral to solve. And uh, it just the use of the power rule and taking out some constants like uh, 2 pi and, and minus 5 fourths. So I'll leave that to anyone who wants to try it. And my time has run out, run out so thanks.